Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, I have a fun treat for you. You guys, I was watching clips from GB News, you know, as you do, GBN, as you do, and it came across, I don't know, this funny conversation. It takes place between Darren Grimes and Nelson Aspen, and they're just talking about Harry and Meghan and how they fail at everything they do. And again, still talking about the disaster of a New York trip, you know, like we called it. And so I thought it was worth watching, discussing, uh, having a conversation about it. So I'm excited to watch this one with you. There's a reason that I'm not going to give away yet. You know what? I am going to give away. It's so freaking funny. Let me play this clip real quick and you'll understand why I want to play this whole thing. Bear with me. Hold on. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. What is that, you ask? Oh, it's just a clip of my two new favorite, whatever, anchors talking about Harry and calling him a handbag. Oh, I'm so excited to dive into this with you. So as I always say, if you want the uninterrupted version of this, you can find it right here on YouTube. But I'm a reaction channel, so I'm going to react to it. <laughs> People still get surprised when I say this. Um, so I'll be pausing a lot and discussing, and there's lots to talk about in this one. Now, I will tell you, he talks at length about seven car whatever, convoy in New York. And I know, I, I talk about it in the video, and I'm talking about it here. I know, it's been disproven. Just go with it here. This is what he's talking about. It doesn't matter. I would say if it's more than one car, it still applies. It's the preaching about the environment, but doing the complete opposite. Always, always hypocrisy. That's what's fascinating for me. One of the things that's fascinating. Um, and uh, so anyway, just know that that's coming. I know it triggers some of you guys. So <laughs> let's take a look. Let's discuss. Let's react to this. I'm excited to dive into this and just remember, lest we forget. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. Oh, I want to talk to you about this pair, Harry and Meghan. They're really keen to clean up their image and, of course, clean up the environment. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I said the same thing when I heard about them jetting off to Portugal. I forgot to say that with this one. So much for the environment, huh? But perhaps they need a better PR team because they gave their critics another open goal this week when they used gas guzzling seven car convoy to take them on a journey around one single block. I know. I can hear you typing as he was saying that. It wasn't seven cars. It's been proven not the case. But let's play devil's advocate for a second and say it was even more than one. It goes to everything he's saying. He still has a very valid point. To attend an event in New York City. To discuss this, I'm joined by the New York-based journalist, the award-winning Nelson Aspen. Nelson, thank you very much for your time today. Look, there'll be viewers here in the UK who won't know New York. For their benefit, how far is a single block? I mean, it would take them uh, less than two minutes to walk that distance, but I'm sure she had very high heels on. In fact, I can confirm that she had very high heels on. The straight jacket and a massage table and a coat that was on backwards. But yes, you were right to go uh, to this event for uh, part of the mental wellness in a digital age discussion that they were having. They enlisted seven uh, SUVs that had blacked out windows and they also had a New York Police Department escort. So it was quite a parade. And as if Manhattan congestion on the roads isn't bad enough, this further exacerbated it. But uh, they got there safely. And I guess that's the important thing. And no one was able to get a picture of them through the blacked out windows, Darren. Well, nobody's upset about that. I got to admit, I'm a little upset. And the only reason is because I got one of my all time favorite photos because allegedly she didn't realize the windows weren't blacked out. I mean, Nelson, we associate, don't we, uh, visually at least, a motorcade with a presidential candidate or a president in office. We don't associate it perhaps with reality television stars. Oh, I really like this guy. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> you know, Megan's just yelling at her TV screen saying, I was on Suits. Well, it's funny you, you mentioned uh, politics, and I think that is really Megan's latest uh, cause celebre. You know, I thought so too, and I've talked about it. I think... I think she would be glad to stay in the spotlight somehow if she was just handed something 
I don't think she's willing to put in any work or effort whatsoever to try to get any kind of spot now that she'd win it anyway. But I'm saying I just don't see her putting in any effort at all for something like that. I think she thinks it'll just be handed to her. Like she, I just assume she thought that that uh, Feinstein spot would be handed to her. She's really thrown the, thrown herself at everything, trying to see what sticks. Oh, I'll write a children's book. Oh, spare me from that book. Spare at least had some funny parts in, in it, not on purpose, by accident. Bench had nothing. Oh, I'll do a podcast. Too hard. Uh, trying to find her way. And politics is, I suspect, where she wants to end up. Not willing to put in the work. And I've heard uh, that there, that she would potentially have to give up the titles. And there's no way she's doing that. She was very quick to get her photograph taken uh, with political figures. Uh, she met uh, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris's husband and made sure there was a photo up there. She does an awful lot of hugging. I think if she wants to be a, a presidential candidate, she needs to shake more hands and do a little less hugging. Anyone else kind of hoped that she would run because it'd be so freaking funny to watch? But uh, whatever. New Yorkers are not very impressed by celebrities to begin with. Yeah. Harry's mother, Diana, was an exception when she made her uh, first solo visit here in the late 80s. She really charmed New York City. Uh, of course. The Harry and Meghan don't have that effect on New York. So there's so many reasons I love what that guy's saying. But think about this. Who else just charmed New Yorkers? Prince William. You know that's got to eat Harry and Meghan alive. But then if Meghan has these delusions of grandeur to become a political candidate, for example, is there not a certain amount of a faux pas here where actually driving in such a massive motorcade whilst you're also arguing that people need to be greener and cleaner? That is just the tip of the, hypocrit <laughs> the hypocritical iceberg that we deal with constantly. And by we, I mean you and me. Um, I, I mean, you name it. They do it. They'll say one thing and do the complete opposite. Being a mom's most important. But don't ask me about my kids. My kids aren't anywhere to be found. Hate the royal family. Don't ask us about that. Oh, oh, but we're going to hang on to those titles for dear life. It's somewhat hypocritical. That's, uh, that's Hollywood hypocrisy at its finest. Uh, no one is more green than Leonardo DiCaprio, and yet he is constantly on private jets with his model du jour. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, this is going to harm them, isn't it, in America, right? This isn't that. So you mean an even lower popularity rating <laughs> than the negative numbers they're already rocking? Great. The, the polling, uh, if you look at public polling, the pair are actually aren't as popular as they once were. And of course, they went to America for the fame and fortune, surely. Came to America because Megan can't read any room or any situation ever totally overinflates her own ego, believes she's the best at everything, thought she could come to America and be a rock star, and fell flat on her face and took down the idiot husband with her. That's correct. And and, and I think that she's she, and when I'm referring to Megan here, I don't I don't want to bring Harry into this so much. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. There. That right there is why I knew I had to cover this piece, is because that's my favorite line. He's becoming a bit of a handbag. Well, I'll correct and say he's been a bit of a handbag. I think that is the best line. I think he absolutely is a bit, or even, even maybe more, he is a handbag. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. He really is becoming a bit of a handbag. I'm sorry, I really will stop. I just find that so funny and so perfect. It really is a, a rather... I, I dare say, a control freak. She always has a list of expectations. Uh, the, one of their visits here to New York, they went to a school in Harlem, uh, and there was a, a long list of demands that eventually became public of what she expected, and she wanted Meghan and Harry friendly media in attendance. So uh, she does want to control the narrative. And What? That's my s fake surprise voice. What? She's a control freak? What? You mean... She's not just easy breezy, <laughs> go with the flow. You know, we saw that work out so well with the royal family. She really went with the flow with them. <laughs> it wasn't all about her.
Now she's got a new high powered talent agent in Hollywood, uh, and I'm sure they're trying to guide her. But I think they need to be clearer on what her end game is, because she really does seem to be trying her hand at everything. Oh, this segment just cracked me up. I thought they did such a funny job discussing the pair of them. Um, <laughs> just the hair is a handbag. Oh, best line. I like that they are acting surprised. Like this is a new revelation that Megan's a control freak. We've been saying this since mm, I'd say South Africa time, maybe before that, if you're quicker than me. It's about the time I caught on, but uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, just breaking this down and talking about it with you. Always a treat. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you want to further support the show, definitely check out the merch. We got Drunk Goose Club, Hong Kong, everybody. We have Make It Make Sense, Recollections May Vary, all the things. Um, we also, ha I still have the ringtone, Answer Me. Thank you to everybody who's picked that up. I think that's so fun. If I ever heard that go off in public, I would freak out and start laughing. But um, also, if you want to further support the show, definitely check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can uh, further support the show, get extra deep dives, become an executive producer, all the things, whatever you want to do, you can probably find it over there. We've been over so many different topics over there. We do a lot of fun deep dives. We got extra content going up about every other day over there. So check that out. As well, that's patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Thank you guys for everything. I hope you have the best day, and I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Take care. Bye-bye.